Okay guys, hey, this is Derek Goff. I'm bringing you my first official tutorial for Blender. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on nature. Uh, this is going in the Blending Nature Forum at BlenderArtist.org. So uh, I hope you guys play along and uh, leave me any questions or comments at the end and I'll be happy to answer them as best I can. So let's get started. So what we're going to be trying to do today is creating a scene like this. This is basically uh, a starter terrain, um, some simple texturing on it, and uh, just we'll just touch on the water. I'm not really going to focus on that too much. Mostly we're going to focus on the uh, uh, terrain itself and some atmospheric effect and lighting. So let's get going. So basically, let's get rid of the uh, the default cube. And if you don't have the ant landscape creator turned on, I suggest you do. Type in ant and check the box there, which I already have. And then once we come back here, we do Shift A, and we add the landscape. I'm going to also turn on my screencast for you guys, so you can follow along at home. We're going to come over here to the Settings tab, and I'm going to turn this to 150. I'm also going to increase this to 4. And uh, you can play with all these settings as much as you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to slightly adjust this a little bit, but there's a lot more to it than that. So I suggest playing around with it. And we position the camera in here somewhere we like, something like that. I'm going to press A to release that, Control 0 to create my camera. I'm going to change this to 720, also to 25, focal length, F, Shift F, I guess, to do that. And then uh, trying to create kind of a line across here, maybe one third of my screen. Something like that right there. Yeah, looks good. Okay, we're going to add a subsurf modifier. I'm going to keep that at one. That should be fine. I'm going to come up here to top view. Duplicate this. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to create the feel of depth without increasing the number of vertices greatly in my file by just duplicating this surface and rotating it slightly finding another angle I like something like that I like that okay and we can also probably turn that down or eliminate that subsurf modifier and let's go ahead and create a material, call it terrain, and we're going to set the color just over here to slightly greenish color. Set the uh, shader to Orene Nair, I believe that's how we say that. 0.75 gives it a nice velvety look. We're going to take this down to four hardness to fifteen and the rest of that is all good I'm gonna come over to textures we're gonna make a new texture clouds is good size 0.1 depth 10 blend original is fine we're gonna change this to global get rid of the color turn the normal on to 0.1 and that pretty much sets that up for us. Uh, next thing, apply that same material again. Next thing, we're going to set up the lighting a little bit. I typically like to light my scenes from the back side. Gives nice shadows. Um, just my preference, but you can do whatever you like. Let's try classic. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave it there, classic for right now. And change the distance to 2. Duplicate that sun, rotate it, 180. And change it to 1. The color to somewhere right around in here, maybe. Turn that down a little bit, around there. This is going to be our backlighting. We don't need the sky or atmosphere, so we turn those off and no shadows. I'm 
my mistake. Rotate that one. Rotate this one. I just realized I have my light sources kind of reversed there. That's okay. Better to catch it now than later. And uh, I like to keep the backlighting a little bit more horizontal than the sun. But I am going to angle the sun as well. Give some nice shadows. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's just do a test render, see where we're at. Okay, nice. I like that. Atmospheric effect looks good. The mountain texture looks good. I think we can work with that, okay. And uh, let's see. Oh. Let's add in another mesh. This is going to be our little lake the material. Call it water. Color to kind of a dark bluish green tone. Change the specular. Something like that makes a nice sharp specular flare. Turn the reflectivity up. And that looks good. We're going to do uh, a new texture here. I'm going to copy that one off. I'm going to call this water ripple. And we just need to reduce the size a lot. Something like that. And the normal needs to be reduced also. Something like 0.01 maybe. And that looks pretty good. Let's try rendering that see what we get. Okay, not bad. A little different than my uh, my starter scene, but uh, maybe we can adjust that slightly. Get this a little more direct on. Maybe bring this water up some. And also... down something like that. Rotate it a bit. Let's try it again. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. Uh, we're starting to get some of that nice good velvety green texture on the, uh, the terrain here. Later we'll do grass and trees and such. Uh, but for right now this is actually looking really good. Um, the only thing I would do to final this off would be to increase the uh, soft shadow size. So let's take this up to 5 and the soft size to 3. And do another render. And I think that uh, that should be pretty good for right now. Yeah, I like that kind of a sun going down kind of scene on a grassy hilly mountain not too shabby uh, like I said we'll continue with rocks and sticks and trees and all that other good stuff so for now this is uh, Derek Goff signing out and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial picked up a few tips tricks and uh, look forward to you uh, uh, sitting in on the next one thanks guys